Hi everyone, today we are on lesson 7.9 and it is on page 301 in your colored math books. We are going to learn about fractions and properties of addition. How can you add fractions with like denominators using the properties of addition? All right, so let's start. The question says, the map shows four lighthouses in the in the Florida Keys and their distances apart in miles. So right here, the distances apart in miles, right? There's the miles. The Dry Tortugas Lighthouse is the furthest west. And the Alligator Reef Lighthouse is the furthest east. All right. So we have that information. Now let's see what the question is asking. What is the distance from the Dry Tortugas Lighthouse to the Alligator Reef Lighthouse traveling between the four lighthouses. All right. So we want to know what the distance is from the Dry Tortugas to the Alligator Reef Lighthouse. And we're going to be traveling between the four lighthouses. So they're just not saying go from here to there. They want to go from this one to this one to this one to that one. So that would be a big difference. So make sure you're reading exactly what the question's asking, everyone. All right, so use the properties to group and group. I'm sorry, use the properties to order and group. All right, so we're going to add 70 and 5 tenths plus 43 and 6 tenths plus 34 and 5 tenths. All right, let's get started. The commutative property, it says, right. Okay, trying to get it all down there for you guys to see. All right, so they, they wrote the problem out here, and then they wrote a little side note here. It says, use the commutative property to order the add-ins so that the fraction, so that the fractions with this, a sum of one are together. All right, do we see anything with the fractions that will be the sum? So let's look just at the fractions. We have five tenths, we have six tenths, and we have five tenths. Any two of those that will, we could put together that will give us a whole fraction, not a whole fraction, a whole number? Yes, if you put five tenths and five tenths together, we'll give you one whole. So let's write those two next to each other. So 70 and 5 tenths plus 34 and 5 tenths plus, you can't forget about this one, 40 three and six tenths. All right. So let's go on to the next step. It says use the associate property to group the add-ins that you can add mentally. Mental math. So here we rearranged it. And now here we're going to put parentheses. Associative is parentheses. I always remember that because the S's remind me of parentheses. All right. So we're going to do 70. Let me get, I'm going to use a little bit smaller marker here. All right. 70 and 5. Tenths plus thirty four and five tenths, and then we're going to do forty three and six tenths. All right, 
Remember, you always do what's in the parentheses first. And since we just put those in the parentheses, we should put those first. Add the grouped numbers, then add the other, add the grouped numbers, and then add the other mixed number. All right, so we're going to add these first. Well, what is um, 5 tenths plus 5 tenths? That equals 1 whole. So I'm just going to put 1 right here because I remember that I have to add a whole there. Now we have to do 70 plus 34. 70, I'm going to do a little bit of math to the side just so you can see what I'm doing in my head. 34. 70 plus 34 equals, wow, my marker is writing kind of slow today, 104. 104, don't forget, you have to add this 1 right here. So now we have 104 plus the 1 is 100 105. All right. Now we still have to add this 43. 40. Ooh, 43. And 6 tenths. All right, and when we do that, we have to do, in our head, we have to do, we know it's just going to be 6 tenths because that's all we have left. So I'm going to write that. There's no other fraction. To, oops, to add to it. All right, and now we have to add 105. And 43. So let's do that over here. 105 and 40. Whoops. 3. 3 plus 5 plus 3 is 8. 0 plus 4 is four, and then we have our one. So we have 148 what? 148 miles apart. So the distance from the Dry Tortugas Lighthouse to the Alligator Reef Lighthouse traveling between the four lighthouses, 148 miles and six sense. All right. So we use different properties to put them together. We use the commutative property and the associative property, and that helped us to figure out our answer. All right. If you guys have any questions, that was how you can add fractions with like denominators using properties of addition. So if you have any questions about that, let me know in class. Bye, everyone.